He embraced the cross, stepped down from his throne and left his crown because we were worth the loss. He embraced the pain, the thorns in his head, the nails in his hands, the spear in his side. He embraced the shame. Fully exposed, his arms open, his hands open, his eyes open, all eyes on him. His voice fading, his heart breaking, his skin broken, his eyes still open, staring, piercing, looking at you, at your past, your present, your future too, and thinking, you're so worth it his nakedness before all to cover your shame, the nails in his hands to know the depth of your pain, his blood screamed, you're worth it. His arms spread out so we'd be within reach of a cross standing so tall and a love rooted so deep, he still says, you're so worth it. Because he saw where you'd stand and he sees where you are. Let the nails through his hands so you could touch his scars and believe he came. He suffered and he bled, his love pouring out with every drop he shed just because he found you worth it. So there came that sacred moment where purity and sin did collide, carrying every addiction, sickness, and scar we try to hide, all on his back, all in an effort to take us back, for we had turned our backs on him. And as we turn away, he turned to face our sin, took our place and paid our debt, and went as far as to pay a wage as high as death. Do you get it? Can you grasp the depth of such love? love, a love that would go as far as to suffer and die for us, a victim so innocent offering up his own innocence to substitute for our incompetence. Yes, he embraced the cross because he saw beyond that tree. Looking through the crowd, he saw who you've been, who you are, and who you'd be, and he said, you are worth it. You're worth my nakedness as I hang on display, child. This is the evidence of your access to grace. Where you find yourself tainted because of what you did, he says, covered. Where you find yourself vulnerable because of what they did, he says, covered. Where you find yourself exposed before his ever-piercing eyes because you took the bait from the serpent and sought a tree to hide behind, he says, covered because he carried the cross and became the tree of life, made himself the vine so we could be the branches instead of wasting time sowing on leaves. We could bear good fruit and lead others to believe that the story didn't end when he bowed his head and said, it's done. For he rose again with a power that not even death could overcome. There's no need to despair in a war that's already been won. So when we're caught in his grace, we come undone. For as he embraced the cross, he was embracing us. Jesus Christ, our Savior, the epitome of true love. As he embraced the cross, he was really embracing us.